Marcy, what up? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Oh man, right, chill. Yeah. Better ask him. What up, you what up? Come on, come on. <laughs> this is the video right now. Bet you she don't like I do. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't mind doing something with Jay-Z, too. I would like to do something with Jay-Z in the future. Right. Got the G-Unit in the building, Lloyd Banks, yeah. Young Buck, yeah. 50. Final thoughts, get the f*** out of my house so I can smoke my d*** and do my song. No, I'm just And the rest of all you beautiful people out there, it's John Norris in for Sway today with your MTV News here on Direct Effect. Well, the end is nearing for Jay-Z. Monday in New York on radio station Hot 97, Hova will premiere the first track from what he's calling his last album for at least two years, The Black Album. The song is called What More Can I Say, and it was produced by up-and-coming Big Apple track makers, simply known as the Buchanans. To get you in the mood, here's a brief sample of the cut where Jigga lays down his conversational b-boy flow. No, I'm not through with it. In fact, I'm just previewing it. This ain't the show, I'm just EQing it. One, two, and I won't stop abusing it. The groupy girl stop false accusing it. Back to the music, the main back roof is translucent. What more can I say, which according to a rep from Rockefeller, is not the first single from the November 28th Black Album. It's just a warm-up record for the streets. The official lead cut is called Change Clothes. It was produced by the Neptunes. That one is supposed to world premiere Friday on AOL, according to The Rock. Rick Rubin and Timbaland have also laid beats for what could be Jay-Z's farewell opus.